We knew this was coming, right? So the Shark Flex Style, brand new, it retails for about $250. That is if you want to choose a package where you can select, was it three? Four inserts that go on top right here. You can also pay a little bit more to have a package where you just get all of the products. You push this button right here, little lever, you twist it, and it's your hair dryer. You just hook your pieces on, they click into place. The nozzle right here, I was really happy to find that you, once it's in, you can manipulate it to whichever direction you want. Pop up back here. There's an unlock button that you pull. I cannot get over how just teeny and lightweight this is. It's the power of a full size hair dryer, but just in a little cute compact. So they have a diffuser for curly hair that you can use. They have a round brush right here, a paddle brush option. They have your barrels that blow dry and curl your hair at the same time. They give you a little mat to protect your table and four little alligator clips. Okay, so let's recap. Day one, see, I will do this side over here, Revlon, and this side over here with the Shark. Once I used it on a couple of sections, I really, really started to love it. The Shark gives me very sleek hair. The Revlon side gives me a little bit more curl, a little bit more volume, but it is frizzy at the roots. The Revlon does pull my hair more which I didn't really notice before until I had tried the Shark. I will say that I had a hard time using the Cool Shot button with a round brush, just because you have to hold down the Cool Shot button. I could feel the bristles right up against my scalp. So I believe being able to get the brush closer to my roots comfortably is also what's contributing to a more sleek, frizz-free result. I will say I was also shocked when I looked at the bristles on the shark round brush and saw that there were only a few hairs in it because the Revlon is known for pulling out a lot of hair. Okay, so day two, we have freshly washed hair again. We are ready to go in with the curling. I was so excited for this. The instructions say to wait for your hair to dry to about 80 to 90%, pull up a small section of hair, flip the dryer on and let it catch the ends of the hair and then you slide it up to your root. You don't have to do any twisting, curling, anything like that. Now you hold it for about 10 seconds on your heat setting and then you hold down the cool shot button for about 10 seconds. And then from there, I would give my hair just about a quarter-ish, half-ish turn in the opposite direction away from my scalp just to loosen up the hair a little bit and then you gently shake it out. And you can see it is so fun. It gave me really fun, tighter curls. I loved it. I love the body. And then I set it with just a tiny bit of Kenra 25 hairspray. And I gave my fingers just a little tiny shake, a little bit of a comb. And unfortunately, I lost it all. Okay. Okay. As I brush through it, and we're losing it. No, 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 no. I was really hoping that we'd keep curls. <gasps> no. I was so disappointed. I really, really wanted to keep those curls. I would have been okay if they dropped just a tiny bit, but I was so hopeful. Now, unfortunately, after three hours, I had to get back on camera because it had fallen so much and I knew we could try this again, we could make it better. I sprayed my hair, dampened it again, and this time I tried Kenra's Memory Foam Mousse. So I will say all in all, this did hold better. It was not great though. I've lost my natural light, basically just living off of my lighting in here. I was so hopeful. But look at this side, it's already fallen so much and it feels crunchy <laughs> from the mousse. Look at that, just running my fingers through it. It basically fell all the way out a few hours later for me. I think if I had another foot <laughs> to my hair that this would hold a lot better and maybe fall to just a nice loose beach wave, possibly. One of the reasons why the curls probably don't hold as well, you start at the bottom 
kind of like hot rollers. Your ends are getting the most heat the whole time. And the farther up you go to your root, the less heat you're getting. Your curl is naturally not going to hold higher up, but who knows if you can get curls that hold up by your root, please okay, share. So then day three, here we are, washed my hair. So the paddle brush online, Shark claims that it gives you a straighter style than the round brush does. It's supposed to be very smoothing, very sleek. And then we pulled the hair up and you could see that I'm a little confused. <laughs> it didn't quite work as well as I thought it would. The paddle brush, it just looked a little lifeless yet, like there was no direction or styling. All it really did was blow dry my hair and semi smooth and straighten it out. You can see it just kind of looks a little coarse almost and it feels a little tiny bit coarse and it's not giving me the results that the round brush gave me, which I was confused about because the paddle brush is supposed to give you more straight hair than the round brush does. So at this point I decided, you know what, I am going to try the round brush on the other half of my hair, which I did. The round brush gave me so much more control and it gave me more body, more volume, yet it was not as frizzy and coarse. No. No, no. Let's see if I can fix it with the round brush. Yeah, do you see? I will say I really did enjoy the hair dryer though. It is so lightweight and small and just very easy to maneuver. I don't feel like my arm gets heavy using this product. The Shark hair dryer was drying my hair so incredibly fast that I could not use it for very long. <laughs> I needed to have some level of water left in my hair so that I could use the brushes. Honestly, I'm conflicted. It's 50-50 for me. Half of the attachments work really well for my hair and I like them. The other half, if Shark ever came out with an option to where you can buy the attachments individually, oh, that would be so amazing. That would be so amazing because yeah, you could just buy the hair dryer itself or you could buy, you know, one of the attachments, whichever one you know that you're going to use. But because this and other similar products on the market, you don't let you just pick one and save some money there. I really think it's something that you have to weigh. Are you going to be able to use all of them? If so, you're getting four different tools in one for about $250. I wish I had a better answer to be able to tell you 100%. Yes, you need to buy these types of tools that come in these big packages with a higher price tag and Every single one of the options is amazing on every single hair type, guaranteed. But I just can't. Everybody's hair type and length and needs and style preferences are different. And that is what makes it hard buying these big packages that come with all of these tools in them. I would say if you know you're going to use at least three of the attachments, then it's a really great deal. $250 for three different quality hot tools if you're like me and you're thinking that you're probably going to use one of them occasionally two maybe once in a blue moon try three and four i don't know maybe i just need more practice maybe i just need more time maybe. tell me your thoughts do you have the shark flex style what do you think of it with that being said i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will talk to you next week bye